Major players in global security gather in Japan to discuss the future of Afghanistan. As war winds down, aid has been sought to help prevent Afghanistan tipping back into chaos when foreign troops leave. Donors denounced a pledge of $16 billion over the next four years. That amounts to $4 billion annually, but falls short of what the Afghan Central Bank says it needs. And the pledge came with demands of wiping out corruption. I recognize, ladies and gentlemen, that the success of our development partnership will depend on our mutual ability to be accountable and to improve our practices so that the hard-earned dollars of your taxpayers are utilized most effectively and transparently. Officials from around 80 countries and organizations met for the Tokyo conference. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said the U.S. would vow to keep aid levels steady. For our part, the United States will be working with Congress to provide assistance at or near the levels of the past decade through 2017. Uh, both to help secure Afghanistan's gains and to protect uh, the already considerable investment uh, that the United States has made, uh, not only in financial terms, but in uh, the sacrifice of our men and women uh, in uh, the last decade. Afghanistan remains one of the world's poorest nations. The average person only earns around $530 a year. The Afghan government has identified priority areas for development, including agriculture and mining, which they hope will drive future growth.